appreciated. That makes a story good, I think. What are some of those little techniques, just a few if you can, uh, that, that make us care about a character? So for character, um, and, I, and I talk about this in, in my Pixar um, seminar, so because they, masters of this, um, you know, they, they tell stories about toys, about monsters, about bugs, about uh, robots, right? You know, fish, um, rat, they make you care and connect with those characters. So there's, there's a whole bunch of techniques and, and you can see what they do and you can know what the te techniques are. Um, uh, for me, it's like there's three, three things that you do that, I, that you do is, is make, us, make us feel sorry for that character. So they, there's little moments where you can, you can create a moment in the story where a character is unjustly abused or uh, unjustly mistreated or insulted or uh, betrayed or neglected. And so it, it, it could be any character. Um, and if that moment is there, you're going to feel sorry for that character. At that moment, it takes an instant. So that's one. If you show that they're like us, if you show their humanity, for example, you show that they care about something other than themselves, that's another technique. So uh, there's a moment in um, the movie um, Leon the Professional, which is about a, 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 a hitman, right? And it opens with him doing a hit and he kills people. You don't know if he's good or bad, but he goes home and he takes care of a plant, right? And that right away you say, oh, wow, he cares about a plant. So he's, he's okay. He's human. The other uh, part uh, is uh, admiration. So this is like any, any kind of, you know, if you're dating somebody or you're trying to find somebody who's a good match for you, there's that list of, list of things that you like in a person that's admi admirable traits. So if somebody who's funny, who's responsible, who's courageous, there's a whole list of things you can add to a character to make us say, oh, well, you know, I admire this. Usually they're like the best at what they do. They're like the best, you know, the best ad executive or the best agent or the best cop or the best driver. Um, they're courageous. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. I mean, I have a whole, the list, the list is all in, in the book. There's all these lists of things you can do. Uh, but if you do these three things, and I, so when I show clips of the, um, of the moment you meet the character, and it's usually like a three minute scene, you can see all these things being applied in like three minutes. There's like, you know, the, the opening of Wally -E after he's done with the garbage and he comes to his, to his little house. It's a three minute scene and there's about 20 of these techniques done. This is how you connect with that character in one scene emotionally. Um, I also show a clip of, a, of, a, of an ad, a commercial. It's a one minute thing uh, about a lamp. Where they, it's, it's a great ad for IKEA award-winning commercial uh, where they make you care emotionally for the lamp, right? And, the, and the, the joke about it is that the guy comes on and says, uh, you know, you probably had feeling for these lamps. That, that's because you're crazy. The lamp has, it's only a lamp. It's, you know, and the new one is better, you know, the new lamp to replace it. So, but anyway, but it's great. It's amazing once you, once you know those techniques and then you see them in action, you go, oh my God, you know? And I, and I kind of always feel, I always give this caveat with, uh, to my students and to anybody who hears me speak that if you love stories, if you love films, um, and you don't want me to destroy the illusion, uh, do not listen to me because I'm, I feel like I'm one of the magicians who give you the trick of how it's done and you, then you see the trick and it's not the same anymore. So um, I always feel bad about that because, you know, once you know the techniques and you see a film, you're going to see them everywhere all the time and it's going to kind of ruin it for you. So just w fair warning right there that, uh, you know, those are, those are, this is how we do it. And that creates that effect, you know, so. Regarding the three things that you mentioned yeah. earlier about um, creating uh, empathy for a character, you talked about admiration. You also talked about feeling sorry for mm -hmm. someone or, or f seeing them in a situation where you could kind of relate to feeling sorry for yourself right. or whatever. Right, right. Yeah. What if the admiration part is too heavy? Because we don't want a character that's going to be too perfect and then they're like, right, right. oh, well, I the can't lesson, be like this. Right. The lesson is don't, you know? don't make, make sure you make your character human. Make sure it's realistic. You know, nobody's perfect, right? So when you have a character who's completely perfect that we don't really buy it. Um, but these techniques are used for characters who are also, quote, like villains. For example, I always use The Sopranos, Dexter, uh, Breaking Bad as a character who's technically not likable or they do something that's kind of immoral 
and yet we connect with them, we care about them. So that's how it's done. So you can use this on any, any character. Um, the trick about, I mean, the, the thing about how you do it specifically is really up to the writer. I mean, I like to, use, to see these techniques as tools. You have these tools, and then it's, but it's your job to apply them well, you know? I mean, you can apply them and, and put all of them in one scene, it's gonna look ridiculous. So it's almost like a painter, and you have your, your brushes and your colors, and your little touches here and touches there. And then the effect is, is artistic, but it's up to the artist, you know? I mean, you could do it badly, you could do it good, you could do it balanced. That's up to you. Right, so, right. so taking Breaking Bad, you have Walter yeah. White where toward the beginning he's at the car wash. The beginning then, is a master class. Right. And, and another right. one that I like to use is As Good As, good as It Gets. Oh, Ma sure. Melvin Udall, I use that in my UCL classes all the time because that's, that's a character that was purposely created to create, to create the worst character ever made. Right. You know, the most disliked character in New York who falls in love with the most liked, you know, sweetest uh, uh, waitress. That was kind of a romantic comedy in sure. almost that vein. And I thought... When you when you see the the you know the first ten fifteen pages of as good as it gets is a master class in that because you know they, I mean he's doing things that are like horrific right. you know they always say do not harm an animal and he's there throwing the dog down the chute uh, he insults people he's misogynistic right. he's racist you know all he, whatever but as soon as he walks into that door into his to his apartment and you get to see that he has that he's compulsive disorder that he's, something is wrong with him. Right there, that's the first hit of feeling kind of sorry for him, you know? So it could be totally bad, but when you find out they're sick, uh -huh. you, you, it's, it's part of us to feel kind of sorry and kind of connect. And then there's the whole thing with the dog. Despite the fact that he threw the dog down the chute, the dog likes him. Yeah. So that's another thing. Um, and then he takes care of it, so that's another thing. So gradually, we get to really like him and connect despite his flaws. Have you ever given notes to someone to say, can you make them less perfect? Um... They're like, they're too superhuman. People aren't going to like them. Uh, yeah. Um, it's usually, uh, yeah. like, I, I don't really kind of focus on those specifically. Like, traits for me is the, the last thing you should worry about. Like, you know, I know it's like, this is the same about character development and how to create characters and talk about, okay, make sure you give them positive traits, negative traits. Um, but that's just one aspect of it. And that's the easiest thing to do. For me, it's more about, how what happens to your character and, and those things that I talked about like the pity, humanity and admiration and kind of balance the, the three and then everything else you can show in that scene or in, in future scenes. Um, but um, yeah, that doesn't come no, too doesn't. often okay. Yeah, where somebody's really too perfect and yeah. So now I know you talk about Pixar.